Hey guys, this is Volvo and today in the short and quick tutorial, I will show how we can create spiral ladder in Blender using modifiers easily. So without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.2. Nice. So first of all, let's select this camera and light in the scene and let's delete them and make use of this cube here. So select the cube, press S, X and increase the scaling in X axis. So this is going to be the length of step in ladder. And also let's reduce this height. So S, Z and reduce the height here to this much. Okay. Now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Make sure this vertex is selected and let's select this vertex here. Okay. And reduce the scaling in Y axis. S, Y and reduce the scaling in Y axis. So press 7 for top view. So we need to have this kind of shape. Now we can press tab on the key for exiting edit mode. So let's select this object and let's place this here. So in order to make this spiral ladder, we need to remember a few things. First, we need to apply the scaling of the objects whenever we are doing any modification. So if I select this object, if I press N on the keyboard, you can see the scaling of this object is not applied. So first we need to apply that. So go to this object apply apply scale so we need to have this value of one on all the axis so now let's add an empty so go to this add empty select the plane axis so for this plane axis also if you're not doing any changes it is fine but if i increase the scaling like me so if i increase the scaling the scaling is also increased so now also we need to apply the scaling value or else we won't get the result what we are expecting so again go to this object apply apply scale so the value of this object and this empty should be one in all the axis after that we can proceed further so once we have applied the scaling options next thing we need to observe the pivot point of our object so here we have this pivot point at the center of our object right so we need to set this pivot point at the world axis point or else we will not get the effect what we are looking for so first let's fix that so select the object go to this object options set origin origin to 3d cursor so make sure the axis or the origin point of our object should be at the world axis point so now select the object come to this modifier options add modifier and add array modifier uncheck this relate to offset option enable this object offset expand this and in object options we need to select the empty which we have created now let's increase the count to 40 okay now select the empty come to this object data properties and if i increase this z rotation value we can see we got this spiral thing and if i increase this z location value we are getting the spiral stairs here so let's increase the count a bit so select the object come to this modifier options here i will increase this to 80 okay so let's reduce this here so select this empty let's reduce the z value to 0.35 okay. so i think this is fine and if you want to do any modifications for the steps you can do that so if i select this step and if i press tab key and let's add a loop cut control r and let's add a loop cut here let's select this single face here and e extrude this a bit so that we will get that extrusion added again press tab key to exit this edit mode and let's enable this cavity option so that it is visible clearly so now you can see we got that extrude portion here now let's add a cylinder in between so press 7 go to this add mesh add cylinder so here i will increase the vertex to 64 and let's increase the scaling here so that it fits correctly so i think this much is fine and s z and increase the scaling here okay so press 1 and let's add okay so now we got this spiral stairs and let's add this side portion here so for that let's go to this add mesh add a cube and let's place the cube here reduce the scaling in x-axis s x and reduce the scaling in x-axis press one let's place this exactly at this position okay and let's reduce scaling in y-axis also and let's place this here like this okay and let's apply the scaling for this also so go to this object apply apply scale so come to this modifier options now add modifier and add screw modifier okay after that in axis object select the empty only now let's raise this value here like this so that it aligns properly 
and here it is not at all so let's increase the angle a bit so i think still i need to have this okay till here and let's increase this value here screw value here so that it places around the stair so we have added this thing here but this is not looking good so let's increase the steps view so let's increase the step view here so i'll increase this to 120 and in render also i will change this to 120 now this is looking good so after that we can apply materials on this and also on the steps and also for the cylinder so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye